good morning guys and welcome back to another vlog or welcome if you're new either way i am so glad you're here happy monday trying to start this week off right um henry and i were traveling this weekend to see some family so just spent kind of yesterday afternoon and night like prepping for the work week um honestly feeling optimistic about this week i don't know exactly why like there's nothing particularly going on this week but this is the first time in a while that I'm not like dreading Monday morning. Monday mornings are just like really hard for me at work so like I don't particularly love them but today I'm like you know what we gotta do it so let's just do it. I'm just ice rolling my face because it's still kind of hot here. I woke up kind of puffy just trying to like wake myself up. It actually wasn't like miserable outside this morning. It was kind of pleasant. It was like 82 or something outside this morning i was like wow maybe fall is on the horizon i can't wait for fall i feel like i talk about it in every vlog now like i truly cannot wait for fall i'm such a happier better version of myself but we definitely have a couple more weeks of just like really really hot weather in memphis so i'm not holding my breath but anyways hope everybody's week is off to a good start hope you've got a little drinky just made my protein coffee my cutie little yellow Stanley, mm. yeah, let's just get this week started. I have to show you guys. Um, I, I think it was like two vlogs ago. I was asking y'all for some advice on how to reorganize my kitchen because there was just like clutter everywhere and it was really stressing me out. And one of y'all responded, okay. one of y'all responded and gave me some really good advice. So thank you for that. That really helped because I think it was just stressing me out. There were so many appliances on their countertop. I really didn't feel like I had enough counter space for like when I cook. It was just really stressing me out. It wasn't messy. It just like, I feel like it just wasn't being used to its full potential. So let me show you what I did. Okay. If y'all remember, this corner used to be like all coffee stuff. And then there was like a spice rack right here with some mugs. So I changed it around. So I moved the coffee over here. Ignore all the dishes in the sink. I'll get to them. I moved the coffee station over here because another thing is there's like part of this counter right here that's like kind of slanted. It's not too bad, but when I had the coffee over there, sometimes like the cup on the dish, like this dish would like slant a little bit and it really annoyed me. So moved that over here. I moved the cooking utensils and olive oil over here and I moved our fruit bowl over here because this was just kind of like dead space honestly because there's not an outlet over here so we never really used it so I figured like let's move that over there. Kept the nice over here. I know it's still kind of heavy right here but honestly it's still so much better than before and Henry said he'll get some ties and like tighten up all these wires because like the wires were stressing me out still got the dish rack right there for drying stuff i know i got a lot of dirty dishes but then these two decanters were on the dead space over there so i moved them over here kept the toaster these are two things henry uses for when he makes pour over we've got space for like bread and all of this counter space and it is so nice I made muffins last night and like before I usually would just like mix everything on the stovetop honestly because like there wasn't a lot of counter space but like I had this whole corner and it was so nice so I feel like the kitchen just feels like more open and brighter and I'm so excited. I am just finishing up and getting ready for the day before I change but I don't know if this is like a weird me thing or you guys do this too but like when I get ready I cannot get ready in silence like I need a podcast, I need music, I need a YouTube video or something. Um, I don't know what it is about me, but like I just need something while I'm getting ready. And um, I'm watching Krista Candy's new vlog. I love her vlogs. She's based in Tampa, but she's moving to Charlotte soon, I think. Um, but I just love her vlogs because she is an analyst like me and it's just like fun to see somebody else who like does what I do. Um, just like see how they do their week and how they film YouTube videos and stuff like that. Anyway, I really like her vlogs. If you haven't heard of her, go check her out. It's Krista Canada. It's K-R-I-S-T-A. And then her last name is, let me check. I don't want to send you guys the wrong, but C-A-N-N-A-D-Y. Um, yeah, love her. So there's this really annoying thing going on with my computer. And I keep forgetting it's a thing until I log on and I remember it's not working. Basically... So, 
I feel like this will only make sense if I show you my setup. So this is my work setup. Okay, my Mac, I have a docking station and it displays on this like massive monitor. And then I have a camera up there, okay? I rarely open my laptop if I'm using my monitor. Like my laptop is for like if I'm on the go or something, I primarily just use this monitor and the camera because it's literally like huge, right? So the problem is this started happening a couple days ago. So because I don't use my laptop like very often when I'm using my monitor, that camera, the external camera acts as like obviously a video camera, but also a mic for when I take like my Teams meetings. That way I don't have to open, um, that way I don't have to open my laptop every time there's a meeting. Well, randomly a couple days ago, camera just like disappeared. Like it doesn't show as a device on Teams anymore. Like I can't even select it, it's just not there. So like if I answer a Teams call, if my laptop isn't open, no camera option. And because of that, also no mic option. So like my laptop has to be open for me to like speak and talk on calls. So I talked to IT last week. Basically they decided that that camera I had previous camera. This is a new camera. That camera I had was like dead because it wasn't even like lighting up when I was plugging it in. Well, this one I just got and I tried to set it up yesterday and like the light is on. I can tell like it's powering on and off, but still can't register the camera. So I don't really know what to do and I'm probably gonna have to call IT again. It's probably gonna take a long time and it's just like annoying because it's not even like, it doesn't even directly affect my work or my job, it's just like annoying. And that's the last thing I wanna deal with on a Monday morning, but I need this camera to start working so I can stop having to like use my laptop for everything because also like the lag between the displays is what, per it's really annoying during meetings. Like it's not one-to-one, -one. like it takes a while for my mouse to get from the monitor to the laptop, which makes calls just really frustrating. Um, so that's what I'm probably gonna spend the next hour doing is just being on with IT, figuring out how to fix this. I just finished up dinner and got the crazy idea to, instead of go to the gym, to run outside. Who is she? Um, it's just like unnaturally pleasant today. I think right now it's only like 85 degrees. Um, and it's not super sunny, like it's a little overcast, so it feels pretty nice outside. Um, I just had to spend like 20 minutes looking for my running belt because I literally haven't used it since it's been so hot. Um, but I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna run outside. Nothing crazy because one, I'm still like getting back into running, but two, it is still like 85 degrees outside and I'm used to running in the gym, but I think we're gonna for a little outdoor run. I finally figured out too how to connect like my Spotify to my Garmin. So like now when I'm running, I just have to like swipe, um, what is this? Swipe right and then I can like skip or whatever I wanna do, so yay. Fridays. So today I've got a load going, but I'm also doing something I don't do every Tuesday, but this is way overdue, and that is I'm washing my shoes. <laughs> I try and keep my white newbies as white as possible, and I have not washed these in a really long time, so definitely overdue for that. Um, and then I'm also washing my UFOs just because, like, they're kind of dirty, <laughs> and um, there's like some scuffs that I can't get off, and I want them clean so gonna do that I try and time my shoe washing around laundry day cuz like I don't just like put my shoes in the washing machine like I usually like to put them in there with towels but before I put them in the washing machine I usually try and scrub out as much as possible before putting them in there um, I don't do anything special all I literally do is warm water and then like Dawn power wash and then a rag that's all I do 
Um, and then whatever I can't to get out, I spray shout on and let it sit for like 20, 30 minutes. And then I put them in the washing machine. And I always put them in the washing machine with like towels or something. One, so the shoes don't get beat up. But two, like the washing drum doesn't get beat up or like unstabilized. Because like if it's spinning, the shoes are going to like beat up around the side. Um, but I'm just taking off the shoelaces and removing the insoles because those don't need to be washed. Um, and then I'm just going to scrub them with some dish soap and throw them in the washing machine. Also ignore it. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lot of water on my shirt. Um, I tried to refresh some of my curls this morning and I've really committed to the whole like wear your hair curly thing. Um, not just like wearing it naturally, but like I'm really trying to be more intentional about like styling my curls and like prepping them and it is hard let me tell you and it's very frustrating because every time I sleep I feel like everything gets messed up and I've tried like the pineapple I've tried twisting like and it works sometimes but it doesn't work all the time so I finally bit the bullet and I ordered one of those like satin bonnets online and we'll see how that works but it's been very frustrating because I've been really trying not to use heat on my hair um and i actually like i haven't even blown out my hair in like i want to say like five or six weeks like it's been a while so like i'm i guess you could say i'm unintentionally on like my hair health journey i didn't mean to be but i guess i am um and they didn't turn out too bad but like you can tell like i refreshed a couple right here they're like sopping wet um this side turned out like pretty okay these like front pieces are like the bane of my existence no matter what I do they just like fall they're not as tight as the rest but it's also probably because those are the blondest pieces on my hair so like I know they're a little more damaged but yeah we're just gonna wash these guys and hopefully get all these like nasty little stains out because there's nothing more than I there's nothing I hate more than a dirty white shoe <laughs> I have slept like so incredibly well it's kind of wild even Henry has been saying like once I get in bed I like pass out almost immediately like I'll read for like 15 20 minutes and then I just like pass out um and I've been having such like restful sleep too like I really haven't been waking up that much usually I wake up like two or three times at night to like pee or readjust and I think I only woke up once last night and I like lulled myself back to sleep really quickly and I feel like the biggest difference is I've been working out at night. I feel like typically I would prefer to do like a lunchtime workout or a morning workout, but I guess these last three nights, so like Sunday night, we played tennis late. Monday night, what did we do Monday night? I went on a run after dinner, and then last night we went climbing at like 7.30, and every single night like passed out like clockwork, so might be my new thing who thought I was an evening workout girl I don't know um but yeah I'm just feeling so good I'm just getting ready for the day it's like 8 15. I have like a fun call this morning the associate dean of where I went to grad school if you didn't know I have a, a master's in analytics um, I did like a two-year program at Wake Forest University and the associate dean sent an email out I'm pretty sure he sent it out to like every alum but basically was like 
wanting like feedback on the program or like now that we're like in our roles is there anything like we would do differently or add and like I owe so much to that program like you guys hear me talk about it all the time I love my job I have the coolest job and a big part of me getting that job was having this degree in this program and I went through so like I want to help it any way I can so I have a call with him today to chat and I think we're just gonna chat about like what I learned in the program and like what I use in my current role and then also like what I'm seeing in the industry and if there's anything that can be added to the program. So I like made a couple of notes yesterday um, while I was thinking about it, but I'm so excited. I feel like this is like so fun. Um, so I've got that and then I've got a couple of other calls today for work, um, kind of a busier day. And I've also got a couple of big things I need to get done. So I feel like it's gonna be, um, Gotta kind of have to like focus in today and get some stuff done, but that's okay. Um, it's super rainy and gloomy outside today too, so I feel like perfect vibe just to like get cozy and get some stuff done. Lunch is served. I've just got some turkey bacon, a fried egg, and some sourdough that I burnt a little bit, but we're not gonna worry about that. I've also got my clear protein. I've been trying to get more protein in my lunch. Oh, hi, Poppy. Um, I've been trying to focus on getting more protein in my lunch because I can tell it helps with the afternoon crash. So I think this lunch is at least like 25 grams of protein. No, it's more than that because this is 10 right here. Um, I've been trying out a couple of different clear protein mixes and so far my favorite one is the One Up lemon italian ice if i can find the link i'll link it down below but it literally tastes like lemonade and it's so good um so i'm just gonna sit and eat this I might watch a little show because the rest of my afternoon is like pretty packed so i kind of just want to like give my brain a break for a second before i go back into like four back-to-back -back calls having a little snack i'm done with the work day i logged off a little early it's like 4 45 because my brain is mush. I cannot think straight. I've been at the computer far too long. Um, I was planning on going on a run after work, but I really just like don't don't want to. Don't have the energy to. I'm so tired. Um, I think Henry and I are gonna go on a long walk, and his mom invited us over for dinner, which means I don't have to cook tonight. So I'm excited about that. I think there is a point in time where like if I didn't run after work like I said I wanted to I'd be like really beating myself up about it but I'm not going to do that today because I'm exhausted my head is killing me I can tell like I'm just not in it even if I forced myself to go I'd be in like a horrible mood the entire time so we're gonna sit I need a snack and go on a long walk Thank you. Hi guys, it is Thursday morning. It's almost afternoon. Um, I just got back from a doctor's appointment and I feel like when I see other people on YouTube or like influencers, like when they have a doctor's appointment, I feel like it goes by like really fast for them. Like it takes an hour at most out of their day and then they just like go about with their day. I had a doctor's appointment at 9 o'clock. It's 11.30 now, and I, like, just got home. And I'm like, how do these people... It's, like, like an appointment for a lot of people. I feel like it's just, like, an hour, hour and a half time commitment. But for me, I feel like it takes up half my day. And why is it like that? I mean, my doctor is, like, I guess 20, 30 minutes away, depending on what time of day you go. So, like... My appointment was at 9. I left here at 8.30. It's 11.30. I just got home. Now I need to make lunch. I'm just like, I feel like by the time I've eaten lunch, like half of my day is gone. And I'm like, what the heck? You know? Ugh. But my doctor's appointment went well, which I'm really happy about. I feel like the doctors, they were so nice and I feel like they really listened to me. They gave me a couple of medications to try. We're gonna try them for a couple of months and then like we're gonna regroup. Um, I went to a gastro doctor this morning, so went about like my IBS. 
and we chatted so I'm feeling hopeful which is nice because I feel like for a while I've been kind of like negative about just like doctors and medicine in general so I'm feeling hopeful I'm waiting for those prescriptions to get filled they actually gave me a couple samples which I'm so glad and I'm so thankful for um to like try them and like make sure my body reacts to them okay before I go and like fill the prescription because one of them is like really expensive and I'm like if this doesn't work I don't want to pay for it so we'll see about that but um making a super gourmet lunch aka a frozen pizza um I feel like Henry and I are still in the mode of like trying to eat what we can out of the fridge because I didn't go grocery shopping this week and I just feel like we have a lot of like random stuff that like we should just eat before we go grocery shopping so today I'm eating a frozen pizza and that is that honestly i'm like emotionally exhausted from going to the doctor i did buy myself a little treat i got myself a new shirt um when i've been eyeing for a while when it comes in i'll show you guys but it's just a free people shirt and it was like i think it was like 40 dollars um yes i do have to motivate myself with treats to go to the doctors because i've just had such traumatic experiences <laughs> um but everything went well today and i'm really happy and i'm really fortunate that I'm able to go to the doctor, I'm able to take myself to the doctor, I'm able to afford that, so. I am making some coffee because your girl is dragging. Um, I am just tired. I cannot focus. That afternoon crash is hitting. It's like 2.45. This is always when I crash. Um, and I didn't have a very good lunch, so that's probably adding... Eh, I just spilled cinnamon everywhere. Um, I, when I say I did not have a good lunch, I mean I did not have like a high protein lunch. I literally had frozen pizza, so like no wonder I'm crashing. But you know what? That happens sometimes and it is what it is, you know? There's nothing I can do about it. I mean, yes, there are plenty of things I can do about it. Like I could have had a more nutritious lunch, but it just wasn't in the cards for me, okay? So we didn't, we didn't have it. And that's fine. So I'm making a coffee now. I hope this doesn't affect my sleep tonight because I think I said earlier in this vlog, or I have been sleeping so well lately and I cannot remember the last time, like multiple nights in a row, I've had like quality sleep and woken up feeling rested. Okay, I gotta shut up while this coffee is brewing. Coffee's done and I put it in my Christmas glass. Um, I saw in like a week the Halloween versions of these glasses are going to come out and I think I'm going to treat myself to one or two because I just love these glasses so much and the Halloween or the fall designs are so cute. There's one that's like inside of white, it's like purple smears with like moons on it. They just like looked really fun so I think I'm going to buy some more of those. I feel like these glasses, I've like... I feel like they've been popular the last couple of years like I saw them and got them for Christmas obviously um but I feel like they're just like super super popular now and it's kind of hard to get them so I saw that they're gonna be available August 23rd so probably gonna go and try and get one then I did make it to the gym after work I'm so proud of myself and I was thinking about it while I was there this is my I have worked out four out of the five days this week so far, I think, because I worked out Sunday. Henry and I played tennis Sunday. Monday, I think Monday I ran. Tuesday, Henry and I climbed. Yesterday, I didn't really do anything. Um, and then today I ran. And I think that's the most I worked out in a week in a really long time. And it just feels so good. I feel like this is the first week in a while that I really feel like myself again. I feel like these last few weeks, like I've been sick, we've been traveling, we've just had all these like health things going on and I think I've just like let it kind of bother me a little more than it should, but I feel like this week has been really good. Granted, there's been some like downs this week, but I feel like overall it's been a really good week and it just feels good to start feeling like myself again. I start feeling like, like my, my spark is coming back, if you will. Um, but made it to the gym, 
washed my hair because it was disgusting and I'm trying out I've tried this like two times I'm trying out this new like curly hair routine situation I don't really know how different it is from my regular one but I feel like I don't know I've just been really struggling with my curls lately I feel like they're not like holding and I've been really just I really haven't heat styled my hair at all I think I've blown it out like once since I got it done last and that was like almost eight weeks ago so I've been really trying to like get my curls back but really the only different thing is is I like wet my hair in between each step and I've been using this brush to like define it I feel like I haven't mastered it yet so I can't really tell if it's really working or not but I feel like my curls are looking better my only issue is is like this new routine is a lot of effort and if I sleep on it the wrong way, it basically doesn't matter. So I did buy, I think I was talking about it the other day, I did end up buying one of those like satin bonnets to sleep in, but I really want to wash it before I sleep in it because, I don't know, I feel like some people return those and like maybe they're not cleaned or like they're just put back in a box. So I just want to wash it before I wear it. So I won't be wearing it tonight, but I want to try it out this weekend and see if it does anything. Um, so I just used, I'm still using all the same products, like I'm using my weight leave-in conditioner, and then I just wet my hair. And I think another thing I'm doing differently is I'm just like combing all my products in my hair, like I'm not scrunching it and then scrunching the product in, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna like comb my mousse through my hair like this. I feel like usually I would just like scrunch it in. I'm just gonna do the same thing with the gel. I feel like people either comb it in and then style or style and then like glaze over the gel, but I never try just like combing in the gel, so we're gonna try it tonight. Like these like front sections of my hair really struggle to hold a curl, so I'm gonna put a little extra there. Also, if you've been following it for a while, you know part of the Thursday night program is to self tan but I am still peeling from a sunburn I got like two weeks ago and it's like really patchy on my arm still and I'm worried if I self tan the self tan will be patchy and I know I'm going to be wearing a tank top this weekend and so I don't want it to be like patchy so I don't think we're going to self tan um which is okay Honestly, I'll always take an excuse not to self-tan. I know I love the way I feel after I self-tan, but sometimes it's just a lot of work. Okay, so now I'm just going to brush through with this and define the curls. I don't really know what I'm doing. these curls up here are the ones that always give me the issue so I think I'm gonna try and like finger roll them because they always go flat you finger coil them they look so pretty and cute okay, ignore my wrinkled pajamas but I'm gonna let my hair plop for a second and while it's plopping I'm gonna knit a little bit and I wanted to show you guys the progress on my sweater um, this might not seem like much, but this is about 30 rows and you're probably like, how is this going to turn into a sweater? This is like the upper back of the sweater. So I'm working on the upper back right now. I have about like 10 more rows left on this section and then I'll start knitting the neckline. But like, it's so cute and I'm so proud of myself. Anyways, that's all I'm going to do the rest of the night. Um, is that and then I'll blow dry my hair and then I'm gonna head to bed so I think I'm gonna end off the vlog here thank you guys for spending the week with me I hope you guys enjoyed it um, I'm gonna start another vlog tomorrow we've got a lot going on this weekend so it's gonna be a fun one um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video